Zer's back for week 16 of Destiny 2. I'm going to tell you his location, items he's selling, and what I recommend. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. It's December 29th, 2017, and this week Zer is located on Nessus at the Watcher's Grave. So let's go find out what he has this week. Real quick, just so you guys know, this is the last Zer of 2017. And I want to wish each and every one of you guys a happy new year, and I hope all of your new year's resolutions come true. Zer! What's up, dude? I should not have doubted. Be the nine see your valor. So like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. We have Vigilance Wing, which is the weapon of the week, and this is a kinetic pulse rifle. And trending perk on this is Harsh Truths, which this weapon fires a five-round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed then we have corkscrew rifling alloy magazine last stand which improve weapon performance when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team and then we have composite stop and like all exotics they come with a plus five weapon attack mod this is what the ornament is it is called book of the dead and this is what it looks like Now, if you guys don't have the Vigilance Wing, then I definitely suggest you guys get it. It is definitely a Tier 2 in PvE, but a Tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP. So it still is a good, like, real good pulse rifle in PvP as well as PvE, but I feel that it shines a little bit more in PvE than it would in PvP. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Foe Tracer for the Hunter. This is an exotic helmet, which gives you 2 mobility and 1 resilience. And transit perk on this is Relentless Tracker, which visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies, and this comes with Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as an Energy Bracket mod. Now the Fault Tracer is an okay exotic. It's not really a top tier one, but it's not really that bad either. So I'm definitely going to give this a tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP, because... It, it's good, but there are a little bit better exotics out there for the Hunter. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Peacekeepers for the Titan class. And this also gives you two mobility as well as one resilience. And trended perk on this is Mecha Holster, which reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Then we have Mobility Enhancement mod, Restorative mod, as well as a Self Repairing mod. Now, this is one of those fun exotics to use in PvE as well as PvP. It's not really one of those top tier ones, but it, it has a little kick to it, you know. The fact that you get the whole reload on some machine guns as well as you can ready them instantly is pretty good. Um, especially if you use dual submachine guns. Obviously, one as a kinetic and one as an energy weapon. And, yeah, you can have pretty much a little bit of fun with this. So, if you guys do use two submachine guns or even just one... This thing is definitely, you know, useful for you in PvE as well as PvP. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Eye of Another World for the Warlock. And this is an exotic helmet. You get one mobility and two recovery for this. And transit perk on this is Cerebral Uplink, which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Impact Absorption Mod. Now, this is a decent exotic you can use on your Warlock class. You can use this on any subclass for your Warlock, and it's pretty good. I probably would consider this a Tier 2.5 to Tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP, and I still feel that the Nezarek Sin as well as the Ophidian Aspect are better than this, and this definitely would be in my top 5 exotics for the Warlock, but I do feel like those other two exotics are better as well as the Karnstein's armlets previously to its nerf. It was definitely better than Eye of Another World. Next, we do have the Three of Coins for your wonderful consumable, and this will obviously give you a chance to get an exotic for four hours. And last but not least, we do have your Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. And let's see what we get this week for my Hunter.
Graviton Forfeit, which is pretty interesting. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.